Hi there. Let me narrate a good old story, The Shoemaker and the Elves. Once upon a time, there lived a poor shoemaker and his wife. He didn't have enough money to buy leather for making shoes. So one day, he said to his wife, I don't have enough. This is the only leather I have left. It's just enough for making one more pair of shoes. So that night, he cut down the leather for making shoes. Uh, I will finish this work on in the morning, he thought. And then he went to bed. The next morning, when he came down to finish the work, he was surprised to see one beautiful pair of shoes. He called out to his wife, Darling, did you make these shoes? No, I did not, she answered. At the very moment, a, la a rich lady came into the shop. She said with delight, These are the most beautiful shoes I have ever seen. I will buy it. And then she paid three gold coins to the shoemaker. He bought more leather with that money. At that night, he went to his workstation to, to make shoes. But he was very tired. So he decided to continue the work next morning. The next morning, he woke up and went straight to the workstation to complete his work. And he was surprised to see a two pairs of beautiful and pretty shoes on his desk. He called his wife. Honey, did you make these shoes? No, I did not, sweetie. Okay, so if you did not, who did? Just then, a rich man came into the shop. He was delighted to see those beautiful shoes. Oh, look, it fits me very well. I am buying it. And then he gave the shoemaker six gold coins. The shoemaker bought more leather with that money. When he reached home, he told his wife, I'm not making the shoes and you aren't either. So who is making that shoes? The wife, his wife said confusingly, Yes, we have to find it out. So this time, the shoemaker kept all the leather on the table and hid behind the cupboard. At 12 in the midnight, the door opened and in came two little elves. They, their, their dress was torn and dirty. They opened their little green bags and went to work. They stitched, sewed and hammered all night long. And when the elves left, the, the shoemaker and his wife came out of the cupboard. Oh, so that's the secret. They were helping us all these days. Shouldn't we reward them? Asked the shoemaker. Yes, we should, honey. But how? Hmm. The shoemaker thought. Oh, I have an idea, said the wife. We'll stitch some clothes for them. That's a great idea, said the complimented the shoemaker. So then they got to work. They made beautiful little green shirts, pants, boots and hats. And this time they kept it on the table and hit again and waited for the elves. As usual at midnight when the elves entered the workstation, they were delighted to see the new clothes kept for them. So they put them on at once and started working. This continued. The elves make shoes for the shoemaker. The shoemaker gives the elves new little clothes. So they, following this deal, they lived happily ever after. Thank you. This is Shivani signing off.